Um, so now what I want to do is uh, going to give you all a bit of a treat and we're going to actually invite one of Eco UNESCO's um, Youth for Sustainable Development young people uh, to come and talk to you all directly. Um, so I'm going to introduce Sophia Kyo, who is a young person that has um, worked with us in Eco UNESCO for quite a while now and she wants to talk about why she believes climate justice is a really important topic for young people to learn about and also to discuss her experiences in Eco UNESCO. So I'm going to pass the mic over now to Sophia. Hello. Um, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Sophia Kyo and I'm part of the Youth for Sustainable Development group in Eco UNESCO. Um, if you'd asked me what I thought of climate justice two years ago, I probably would have said justice for the climate um, I had no idea that it was about a fair and equal transition from non-renewable to renewable, from bad for the planet to good for the planet, all while supporting people and leaving no one behind. I had no idea that it meant climate and people, and that it meant that we acknowledge no one experiences the effects of climate change the same way, and the impacts of companies trying to transition to a greener strategy that people who may lose their jobs because of a company's transition would be retrained to work in a new green economy. If you had asked me two years ago, would I like to learn more about climate justice? I honestly would have said no to that too. And that's because I didn't think it was that important because I didn't know what it meant. My sole focus was on reducing pollution and plastic waste so that we wouldn't be affected in the future and I wasn't thinking about the effect that climate change has already had on people. And I wasn't aware that people, people in Ireland were already making this transition from fossil fuels to green energy. So what are we doing in Ireland? How are we making a bigger difference with climate justice and how are we part of the solution? One example that comes to mind is Ford Namona. They have transitioned to green strategy. They've moved from brown to green, from peat power plants, sorry, peat power plants to renewables, and they've brought all their employees with them. And on top of all of that, they are also renaturing the land. This is an excellent example of what Ireland is capable of and what they can do more of. It is vital that we teach young people about climate justice. It's a big deal. I think it's one of the most important aspects of climate action. How do we go forward if we don't stop to think about everyone? Young people are our future, but they are also here now and ready to help. We are an amazing resource and we want to be part of Ireland's change. We want to be a part of Ireland's new economy and the solution. Around two years ago, I was anxious and worried about the climate. I felt lost and I had no idea where to go. I was not alone in feeling like this. I went looking for a group of people my age with a similar mindset and values, and I found it in Eco UNESCO. From there, I realized I wasn't alone. I felt I was capable of making a change. I remember one of the first sessions we did was based around climate anxiety. I suddenly realized that there are people out there like me who feel it is their responsibility to be the change and who are actually taking action and I didn't feel like that at home or with my friends. The group enabled me to do so much more. I've spoken to the Mary Robinson. I interviewed people taking climate action and I've received a qualification in peer education. All this while having the occasional bubble tea with my new friends. And I know we could do even more. I'm positive we could reach more teenagers. What if we could grow these groups? What if we could have more support? And what if we could reach out to more people? Imagine what we could achieve. Now I understand what climate justice is. There's no way the world will move forward if we forget about all the countries who've been impacted by climate change first. Thailand is one of those countries. The effects of climate change on Thailand, including higher temperatures, floods, droughts, severe storms, and sea level rise, put Thailand's crops and livestock at risk and threatened to submerge Bangkok within the next 20 years. The damage to agriculture, coastal tourism and the capital city as consequences of climate change will have enormous economic, cultural and environmental impacts. 
This is why climate justice is so important. We all have to move forward as one and leave no country behind. There are no physical borders around any country that keeps pollution away from one country or floods away from another. Teenagers are here, ready to help. We just need to be informed. We want to be part of this transition. Don't leave young people behind. Thank you.